Now we've had different EVs on this segment of India's EV revolution. Now they are similar yet very different from each other. Not because they're from different manufacturers or because they fall under a different price segment. They are very different even with respect to the battery, the size or even the motor. In today's episode of India's EV revolution, let's discuss the different types of electric motors that can go in an EV or on an e-bike. Now there are five types of electric motors. Let's talk about the first one which is a DC brush motor. In a DC brush motor, there's a stator and there's a rotor. So the stator is a static component which houses the magnets and on the rotor are where the rest of the components sit which is like the commutator, the brushes and the coil springs. The DC motor is one of the most commonly used motors since the earliest times. The only drawbacks with the DC motor is that it is extremely expensive to maintain. But on the other hand, it can work at slow speeds. It can also handle changes in stress. And also it is a proper torque motor in case you need one. The most commonly used situations where a DC brush motor is being used is in our Indian railways. The second type of motor is called the brushless motor. Now the principles of the brushless motor and the brush motor are exactly the same, but the construction is opposite. In a brushless motor, the stator it consists of the coils and the rotor is where the permanent magnets are placed because of which the construction of a brushless motor is a little complicated but they are far more easier to maintain. In brushless motors as well, there are two types of motors. First type is called the outer runner brushless motor. On an outer runner brushless motor, the outside is the rotor and the inside or the inside part is the stator. So basically the inside of the motor is stationary, the outside rotates. It's also called as the hub motor. Now this motor's construction is very lightweight. It's not that powerful. And because of it, it saves a lot of space when it comes to mounting it on a vehicle. And also it's less complicated. And because of which you will see the hub motor or an outer runner brushless motor on an e-bike, smaller e-bike, not the conventional ones or not the Revolt RV400 that we rode. The second type of motor is called the inner runner brushless motor. Here, it's very conventional design like the other motors where the stator is on the outside and the rotor is on the inside. Because of which the design is a little bulky, but it's much more powerful. And it does need a transmission to send the power. Maybe if you're using it on an e-bike, you'll need a transmission to send the power from the motor to the wheel. Just like we saw on the RV400 or even on an Aether. The third type of motor is called the Permanent Magnet Synchronous Motor or also called as the PMSM motor. In this case, the only difference between a PMSM motor and a brushless DC motor is the way it delivers its electromagnetic force. With a PMSM motor, it's sinusoidal, whereas on the other hand, a brushless DC motor has a trapezoidal EMF signature. PMSM motors are high performance motors and because of which manufacturers who want to put these motors into high performance vehicles, they offer these kind of motors. Speaking of high performance, this MG ZS EV, the new MG ZS EV uses the PMSM motor. The fourth type of motor is called a three-phase AC induction motor. Now these motors do not have a high starting torque like the DC motors, but these properties of the motor can be altered by using field orientation control because of which you're able to get torque right at the start of the motor. Now these motors are also very easy to maintain is because they require very less or even no maintenance at all and they have a power efficiency of anywhere between 92 to 95 percent. However, these are much more complicated to construct because of the inter-inverter circuitry and the overall construction. Very few manufacturers who use this motor, two of which I know, which is the Tesla Model S or Tesla uses these motors and also Mercedes in their EQC. The fifth type of motor is called as a switch reluctance motor. The switch reluctance motor is extremely easy to construct and is very, very robust in nature. In a switch reluctance motor, 
The stator is made up of a coated stainless steel rod or has permanent magnets because of which the inertia factor of the motor is extremely low and applications are such as high speed requirements in a specific type of electric vehicles like the Formula E cars that we see. In an SRM, the heat is only limited to its stator which is on the outside because of which it's very easy to cool. SRM might just be the future of electric vehicles because right now they are extremely noisy in nature. Tomorrow, if the technology is perfected, they might just replace the induction motors, even PMSM motors. Now that's way too much of information just about electric motors. While I was researching on the subject, that's when I realized that like me, most of you guys have had a very early experience of a brushed motor. Yeah, this is the same motor that went into an RC car, which most of us guys have played and I dismantled a lot of them. So I probably have a very early on experience on this and maybe I'm a little more experienced in this subject. In the next episode, let's talk about how to maintain your e-bikes. Yes, I have not forgotten about you guys and we will cover that. This is Aurelius from Mashable India signing off. You guys have a good evening ahead.